All right, please be seated. All right, welcome, bienvenidos. Good evening and buenas noches, Highline High School community. My name is Clint Slee and I'm the proud, proud principal of Highline High School. And I'm so honored to welcome you here to celebrate a milestone in the lives of these young people seated before us. As we gather here today for, for this very important and special moment for our graduates, their families, and our entire Highland community, I would like to begin with an important land acknowledgement. We begin by acknowledging that we are on the ancestral land stewarded since time immemorial by the Salish people of the Duwamish, Green, White, Cedar, and Upper Puyallup Rivers many of these giving birth to the contemporary citizens of the Muckleshoot Indian tribe. We honor and give thanks that we are able to gather today to celebrate our Highline graduates on their sacred homelands. Thank you. Thank you to all our families and staff for being present here today. In addition, we are joined by our superintendent, Dr. Ivan Duran, 
School Board Member Angelica Alvarez, Chief Academic Officer Jennifer Reinick, and our Instructional Leadership Executive Director Jacqueline Downing. Thank you for being in attendance. Without further ado, please rise for the national anthem performed by our Highline High School Band. You may be seated. Thank you, Mr. Babcock and our Highland High School Band. Now I am pleased to introduce our first student speaker, Jordan Powers. Dear fellow guests, esteemed faculty, and honored guests, my name is Jordan Powers. It is with great pleasure and gratitude that I stand before you today as we celebrate this significant milestone in our lives and how fast it's come. I must say, say that this day is not only a celebration of our academic achievements, but also a testament to our resilience and perseverance, especially in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic and our class's unique experience. We can't help but reflect on the many challenges we have overcome and the immense growth we have experienced along the way. The past four years have been marked by unprecedented obstacles and uncertainty that have affected every aspect of our lives. Taking our first step of high school, walking into portables. The pandemic took the end of our freshman year and almost our entire sophomore year. Going back junior year, walking into a brand new school and having to learn how to read facial expressions only through eyes due to masks. It has been a difficult journey, but one that we have overcome with optimism and determination to make it the best. We came back ready to make the most of our remaining time left. This looked like our football stand so packed, standing was the only option. This looked like struggling in classes we signed up for, attempting to get back where we left off. This looked like excitement for assemblies and the nervousness to see classmates again. We came back ready for all this while going through the more traditional high school life, like being sleep deprived, having absurd caffeine addictions, and figuring out who we are and who we want to be. And this was the hardest of them all. We've been alive for 18 years and we're only now getting a sense of who we are and what we could be, which frankly can be terrifying. But fear has two meanings. The first being to forget everything and run or face everything and rise. The choice being yours. But if the class of 23 has done anything, it's persevered and rose to the challenge. As we look to the future, we will face many uncertainties and challenges, but we're prepared for whatever lies ahead. But among succeeding, let's not forget who has helped us through these struggles, our families. So, class of 2023, stand with me and let's get an applause for our supporters. Yeah. 
They have been our cheerleaders, our sounding boards, and our sources of encouragement when we needed it the most. They have shared in our triumphs and helped pick us up when things don't go as planned. We owe them a debt of gratitude that we can never fully repay. I would like to take this opportunity to express my appreciation to my parents who have been my constant source of support and inspiration throughout my academic journey. Their unwavering love, sacrifice, and encouragement have been instrumental in helping me become the person I am today. I wouldn't be where I am without my parents, Dan and Sunny Powers. I love you guys so much and couldn't have done it without you. And to our teachers, administrators, and staff, I offer my deepest gratitude for the time, energy, and passion that you have invested in our education. You've seen us at our highs and our lows and voluntarily dealt with our awful procrastination, especially this year, but have witnessed us being able to bring it back together. You've challenged us and held us accountable when we needed the reality check, but most importantly, you've made us laugh and grow into the young adults we are. You have made a profound impact on our lives, and we will carry the lessons we have learned from you with us for the rest of our lives. So, to my fellow graduates, I challenge you to embrace the future with optimism and enthusiasm, pursue your dreams with courage and determination, and never forget the lessons that you have learned here. Remember the friendships you have made, the experience you have shared, the people who have inspired you along the way, and the people you have inspired. Realize your worth, push your limits, and never fear failure. Congratulations, class of 2023, we did it. Thank you, Jordan. Next up is our second student speaker, Katie Box. Katie is graduating with the seal of biliteracy and will be giving her speech in both English and Spanish. Come on up, Katie. Welcome friends, family, loved ones, and most importantly, welcome class of 2023. Bienvenido a amigos, familia, amores, y más importante, bienvenido a la clase de 2023. I stand here in front of you on our last day. This is our 13th last day of school. Our first one being in kindergarten, and our last one being here together. Estoy aquí en frente de ustedes en nuestro último día de escuela. Este es nuestro trece último día de escuela. El primero estuvo en el jardín de infantes y el último aquí juntos. Normally, the last day of school is pure excitement. We had a long year of school and we're being released into summer. However, this last day is different. Normalmente, el último día de escuela es muy emocionante. Tuvimos un año largo y estamos liberados en el verano. Sin embargo, este último día es diferente. This last day is not only exciting, but also bittersweet and slightly scary. This is our ultimate last day. After 13 years of classrooms, studying, standardized tests, and school lunches, I stand here before you on our last day. Este último día no es solamente emocionante, sino que también es agridulce y un poquito escalofriante. Este es nuestro último día. Después de 13 años de aulas, estudiando, exámenes estandarizados y almuerzo de escuela, estoy aquí en frente de ustedes en nuestro último día. We had an emotional roller coaster these past four years, more so than others. When COVID hit, our high school experience was taken from us, but we got through it. Through our phones and social media, we got through it together. Tuvimos una montaña rusa emocional durante estos últimos cuatro años, más que en otros. Cuando COVID llegó, nuestra experiencia de la secundaria fue robada. Pero sobrevivimos. Con nuestros celulares y redes sociales, sobrevivimos juntos. Some would say COVID severed the connections people had with each other. And for a time, that was true. But after learning to never take being together for granted, it ultimately strengthened our connections. Algunos dirían que COVID cortó las conexiones que las personas tenían. Y por un tiempo, fue la verdad. 
Pero cuando aprendimos a nunca dar por hecho a estar juntos, las conexiones últimamente se fortificaron. In a, in a time of crisis, we made and duetted TikToks as well as played Among Us on a group to FaceTime to stay connected. We started as bright-eyed freshmen in portables, and now we're entering the world of adulthood in a big, brand new, beautiful school. En una crisis, hicimos TikToks y jugamos Among Us en FaceTime. Empezamos con personas en grado nueve con ojos radiantes en portátiles, y ahora estamos entrando al mundo de la edad adulta desde una escuela grande nueva y hermosa. As well as our last day, this is also our first day. This is our first day of being high school graduates. This is our first day of being adults out in the world. Además de ser nuestro último día, este también es nuestro primer día. Este es nuestro primer día como graduados de secundaria. Este es nuestro primer día como adultos en el mundo. Watching my older siblings become adults, there's one thing I've learned, and that's that in this world, we will gain things and we will lose things. But the one thing we will never lose is that Highline will always be our home. No matter where we go, whether that be college, the military, a job, or simply trying to navigate this world as an adult, Highline will always be here. Mirando a mis hermanos mayores como adultos, hay una cosa que aprendí. Y es que en este mundo obtendremos cosas y perderemos cosas. Pero una cosa que nunca vamos a perder es que Highline siempre será nuestra patria. Independientemente de donde estamos, universidad, ejército, un trabajo, o simplemente intentando navegar este mundo como un adulto, Highline siempre estará aquí. The staff and faculty that got us through these four years who are cheering us on as we make our mark will always be here to welcome us home with open arms. No matter where we go, we will always be pirates for life. Los empleados y profesores que nos ayudaron estos cuatro años siempre estarán aquí con los brazos abiertos. Independientemente de donde vayamos, siempre seremos piratas por toda la vida. I've thought a lot about how I want to finish this speech, and I decided I want to leave you with this. As I talk about new beginnings, I'm reminded of a poem I heard on the dance team. Yo he pensando mucho sobre cómo quiero terminar este discurso y decidí que quiero terminar con esto. Cuando yo hablo sobre comienzos nuevos, recuerdo un po poema que aprendí en el equipo de baile. In summary, it says that when you die, your tombstone has the day that you were born and the day that you died. But the most important thing is that little dash between those two dates. While it may be the smallest thing on your tombstone, it's the most important. And resumen, dice que cuando mueras, tu lápida tiene el día que naciste y el día que moriste. Pero la cosa más importante es el guión pequeño entre las dos fechas. A pesar de que es la cosa más pequeña en tu lápida, es la cosa más importante. That dash is your life. Everything you do, say, and think is in that dash. Make your dash count. Go on that trip, apply for that dream job, go out and make new friends and connections. So as you go in the world and figure out what to do with your life, always remember to do it for the dash. Ese guion es tu vida. Todo lo que haces, dices y piensas es en ese guion. Hacer tu guion tiene importancia. Vaya en ese viaje, aplica por ese trabajo ideal y salir y hacer amigos nuevos. Mientras vas en el mundo y entiendes cuando quieres hacer con tu vida, siempre recuerda que hacer por el guión. Now go, my dear pirates, and make your dash and your life something special. Ahora vayan, mis piratas queridos, y haz con tu guión, tu vida, algo especial. ¡Felicidades! Muchas gracias, Katie. Muy bien, muy bien. Now let's please enjoy Highline High School Symphonics Band's performance of Lift Every Voice and Sing, directed by Mr. Scott Babcock.
All right, pirates. We're about ready to come to the stage, but because I'm principal, I gotta say a few things first. I'd like to say a few words to honor your accomplishments today and send you off echoing Highline Public School's promise to the futures that you choose. Of course, we know as educators it's not good enough to send you out the doors of Highline today into these futures. We hope that today as you graduate from Highline High School, you are ready and prepared to tackle the challenge and promises of your bright futures ahead. In fact, under, Super, uh, under Superintendent Duran's leadership, Highland Public Schools have explicitly named the goal of educating every student to be future ready. But ensuring every student is future ready is a challenging goal. After all, especially now, how do we effectively teach you to solve problems or prepare for careers that do not exist yet? How do we make you know how to thrive in the unknown? I don't know, but perhaps what is most important is to focus on developing in students the competencies and characteristics needed to tackle the new and unknown challenges. That will make you future ready. Class of 2023, I want to suggest to you that you collectively have developed and exemplified a few future ready traits over the last few years at Highline High School, and I want to highlight a few of them now. First, adaptability. As, already, as Jordan already covered in her speech, you arrived as ninth graders at the Olympic site. I called it the portable farm for free range students in the fall of 2019. And just as you were figuring some things out about how to survive high school, the COVID pandemic sent you home. You had to adapt to remote learning, then to hybrid, and, one, and then a, almost two years later, two years later, when it was time to return to fully in person, you came back to a beautiful brand new school, which was incredibly confusing to figure out how to get around. You showed that adaptability. Second, persistence. Thinking of all these challenges I named above, faced by these unique and unprecedented challenges, you did not give up and you made it here to graduate today. You persisted. Do not let go of this persistence as undoubtedly you will need it as you forge ahead into those futures that you choose. And finally, this is not a new value, but courage. I believe class of 2023, perhaps more than others, you drew on deep wells of courage to keep pushing forward when you did not know what was to come. When you're at home on remote learning, when you're coming back to school in masks, worried about contact tracing and close contacts and missing school and getting back in school, you showed courage. Courage is a future ready trait and class of 2023, you have it. Of course, it is not just you students who have shown adaptability, persistence and courage these last four years. Your teachers went the extra mile to support you and they exemplified those traits too. Let's take a moment to recognize with a round of applause your teachers. And not only your teachers, of course, also your families. Let's take a moment here and again, turn to the stands and give your families a round of applause. Their courage, persistence, and adaptability was crucial to your success. We know you could not have done it without them. Yes, class of 2023, the last four years have been rocky. But so many of you did not just survive you thrived. In fact, many of you wear cords and medall medallions signifying your special achievements while here at Highline High School. Let's take a few moments to recognize you. Graduates wearing a yellow cord earned a GPA of 3.0 to 3.49. If you're wearing a yellow cord, please stand to be recognized. All right, thank you. You can sit. 
Graduates wearing a medallion earned a GPA of 3.5 to 3.99. Please stand to be recognized. Graduates wearing a purple cord and a medallion earned a 4.0 perfect GPA over four years at Highland High School. Please stand to be recognized. There's more. Graduates wearing a white cord had membership in the National Honor Society. Please stand to be recognized. Graduates wearing an orange cord earned an associate's degree while in high school. Please stand to be recognized. Graduates wearing a purple, gold, and white cord served in our link crew, helping welcome and mentor our ninth grade students. Please stand to be recognized. Graduates wearing a red cord participated in our AVID program. Please stand to be recognized. <laughs> Graduates wearing a maroon and white cord are athletes of distinction. They earn six or more varsity letters while at Highland High School. Please stand to be recognized. Graduates wearing a bronze medallion and white cord, there are academic athletes. They had a 3.75 to 4.0 GPA and at least one varsity letter. Please stand and be recognized. And the last group, very important, at Highline, as Highline High School has grown to be so diverse in the multi -commun multilingual community that it is, Graduates wearing red, white, and blue medallions were awarded the seal of biliteracy, earning full credit on the world language credit by proficiency exam. Graduates, please stand to be recognized. Congratulations to all of you. I'm so incredibly proud to be principal of Highline High School. I'm so incredibly proud of all of you. You graduates, you were adaptable, you were persistent, and you were courageous to get here today. As you walk across the stage to graduate, as you step forward into the exciting futures ahead, you're ready, get ready. Now with that, Superintendent Dr. Duran, please join me at the mic. Superintendent Duran, I hereby certify that each student before you has met all of the graduation requirements set forth by Highline Public Schools and the State of Washington. It is my pleasure to present to you the 98th graduating class of Highline High School, the class of 2023. Thank you, Principal Saley. On behalf of the Board of Education of Highline Public Schools and the authority vested to us by the State of Washington, I proudly accept the Highline High School Class of 2023. Congratulations and much success to you graduates. Thank you. All right, it's time, but before we begin, a couple of reminders. Every graduate has many friends and relatives in the audience, and in order for each person to be properly recognized as their diploma is received, I ask all of you families to please hold your applause and recognition until the entire class has been presented. We also remind you to please remain seated during the entire recessional. For those of you who desire to take pictures from your seat, we ask you to take care not to obstruct the view of other spectators. Thank you. 
Mr. Edmonds and Mr. Peterson, please come to the stage to read the names of our graduating seniors. Amelia Marie Pierce. Mylin Le Nguyen. Timothy Strong. Marie Leilani Vaca. Grady Alexander Purcell. Kala Lacey Taitiki. Carlos Cruz Marquez. Alejandra Jimenez Colmenares. Abby Carr. Lenianca Azucena Martinez Calderon. Alexandria Mia Moran. Natalia Marie Brace. Jordan Ray Powers. Micah Ann Ramsey. Sin Lun Siam. Estella Danae Heredia Rodriguez. Colleen Gail Real Pasquale. Jade Marie Harms. Shona May Hope. Giselle Isabel Gonzalez. Andrea Stanley. Evelyn Louise Uribe. Riley Lee Treadenbarger. Agnes Marguerite Duran Sittinghorse. Katie Elizabeth Box. Kirsten Matheson. Estefania Maciel Aguiniga. Frida Sofia Ventura. Nancy T. Lay. Iris Noelia Gomez. Ethan Fox Chehowitz. 
John Viet Tran. Subed Singh Dillon. Jacob Gonzalez. Mahad Abdi. Zeta Lindsay Ross Fearon. Lennox Sun Crouch. Ayub Abdi. David Chan Razme Thun. Mohammed Al Idani. Daniel Luna Zarate. Jaden Lee Frizzell. Joshua Oliveras Gonzalez. Abdul Hamid Abdi Alasar. Daniel Santian Felix. Emmanuel Salas Robles. Abdul Malik Abdi Halasol. Loida Lucia Lobos Perez. Araceli Adonai Salvador Santiago. Sinaya Are Moran. Flor Patricia Reyes Morales. Samora May Akara. Jasmine Janessa Romero. Emmanuel Garcia Campos. Regine Thomas. Elvis Guerra Pineda. Liam Richards. Nestor Lucatero Ochoa. Jonathan Douglas Glenn. Monica Patricia Morales. Carla Berenice Agniga Melgosa. Marisol Vega Garcia. Ruby Faith Morales. Kiara Castillo. Caitlin Vehilani Krieger. Aradna Jasmine Prasad. Jacob Alexander Brown. Delilah Netsai Evangelista. Ana Lucia Jimenez Huerta. Ikran Yakub Ali. Chanel Alize Lopez. Hayan Abdul Kadir Mao. Anna Alexandra Arredondo. Gabriel Zachary Ferguson. Sarai Moya Barrera. Santiago Salmeron Flores. Nemo Mohammed. Leslie Rios Aguiniga. Salma Ibrahim Ahmed. Cielo Raimundo. Terrell Jakaya Baptiste. Ambar Elena Sosa Raimundo. Tayaba Nawaz. Jennifer Antonio Delgado. Jose Bocanegra Nuri. Litsi Paola Molina Hernandez. Leslie Gallego Suarez. Tanya Perez Gonzalez. Santiago Gomez Bermudez. 
Ava Lorraine Collier. Onyxon Omar Reyes Palacios. Ricky Nguyen. Kenny Augustus Walters. Gus Daryl Schaefer. Christina Lakina Year. Angelica Andres Austria. Emilio Flores Delgado. Angie Paulina Zaragoza Nunez. Cameron Joseph Keller. Itzel Aguilar Villa. Erica Soto Placencia. Gregory Dean Gurdy. Susanna Gibelli Caceres Hernandez. Ben Moon Hong. Lucas Noah Bennett. Lizzie Delilah Fajardo Molina. Luis Fernando Herrera. Dolores Maria Mena Hermosillo. Angel Rocha. Nan Pham. Valeria Martinez Amezcua. Raiden Anthony Sun. Kenya Giselle Rojas Maldonado. Mi Vida Cortez. Laura Angeline Gulp. La Marquise Reese Williams. Isaac Pramesh Gounder. Shanna Song Vo. Xavier Zaire Delmico Williams. Joseph F. Tiamul Malu. Rico Sosa. Riley Gray Zinn. Elijah Garza. Fiona Isabel O'Reilly. Charles Brown the Fifth. Taya Katie Noinala. Mohammed Abdirzak Aliabdi. Sophie Nicole Clacken. Sunafai Yosimi Tulenzu. Emily Araceli Arenas. Josephine Victoria Matiasi. Haby Adelaida Pineda Moreno. Matthew Quinton Anderson. Amena Luang Trong. Kobe Nguyen. Elliot Reese Bennett. Yashvir Paul. Ruben Humbert. Disha Jaku. Oscar Mendoza Marroquin. Marjorie Inez Carvajal Figueroa. Sara Abigail Castellano. Angel Nina Sun. Shania Singoy Faimalo. Babin Rai. 
Jason Chang. Jagdeep Singh. Sean Nguyen. Nicole Peralta. Joshua Manalo Libao. Janine Sharazad Al Olviedi. William Pumin Sung Him. Andre Curtis Stacy. Layla Rose Henry Kano. Christy Lee. Sarah Isabel Herberger. London Nicole Rain. Alexis Clementina Blake. Christina Marie Facconi. Rouge Hines. Daniel Henry Young. Brandon Graham. Anderson Nguyen. Lucky Lay. Gus Theodore Evans. Leonardo Uribe. Adam Amron. Pedro Tremillo Rodriguez. Jared Jumawan Garcia. Romeo Keithle. Esteban Loiza Alvarez. Jairo Martinez Solis. Eric Gonzalez Bailon. Brian Quesada. Hamza Hussein. Alondra Pascual Nunez. Isaac De La Torre Garcia. Chris Bell Ariadna Galez Vasquez. Kimberly Guzman Gonzalez. Silvia Perfecto Amaro. Clarissa Manza Van Cliff. Mireya Sanchez Prado. Diana Bedoya Mendoza. Marlene Hernandez Cruz. Araceli Duran Arias. Yaritza Noemi Bonilla Rivas. Veronica Alejandra Hernandez Zapotitla. Brian Hernandez. Ratanak Chai. Jeremiah Adalberto Lizarraga. Ni To. Alan Melendez de los Santos. America Alexandra Luna Orozco. Nacheli Martinez. Ronnie Alonso Guzman Alvarado. Shania Gwen Rojas. Joshua Salcido Lovato. Edward Ketuva Barcinas. Sofia Sofira Orr. Andrea Jimena Briseño Velasquez. Gabriela Isabel Venegas Valdez. 
Saba Ashra. Emily Hernandez Basio. Rania Zakaria Sale. Anna Martinez. Mylene Naomi Yanez Guerra. Is Britti Rai. Alejandra Nayad Saavedra Lopez. Shirley Sarai Domingo Martinez. DNA Rafaela Bar Gomez. Darwin Fernando Oriana Lara. Melanie Guzman. Blue Yaritza Nieto. Class of 2023, we are so very proud of you. Congratulations. <laughs> Families, as a reminder, after the turning of the tassel and the recessional, you may meet your graduates outside of the venue. May I have the senior class president, Alejandra Jimenez Comenares, and ASP president, Timothy Strong, please come forward to lead the turning of the tassel. They will be turning the tassel from right to left, signifying to our class of 2023, our now Highline High School graduates. All right, you guys ready? Three, two, one.